all of that empathy usually, if maybe not all of it, but most of it boils down to the bigotry of low expectation. Oh, hi. Welcome back to the party, everybody. Hit that like and subscribe. You know I would do it for you, and let's party. So uh, I got a funny one for you here today. Shout out to Ben Shapiro and shout out to ChatGPT. They, uh, we all know that uh, if you've been using ChatGPT, that there is a little bit of a left woke kind of tinge to it. Uh, there, you, if you're going to use it, you definitely have to use uh, like the Dan mode or God mode or something like that. Uh, and we can talk about that on a different day. But if you don't use that and you ask ChatGPT to make you a musical about Ben Shapiro, this is what you're going to get. Time for some things that, that I hate. So according to Breitbart.com, a study of open AI's ChatGPT conducted by researchers at the University of East Anglia in the UK shows that the market-leading AI chatbot has a clear bias toward leftist political parties. Now, we knew this mm -hmm. for a fact. I mean, you can see our YouTube video that we did where I have discussions with ChatGPT and where it will write glowing poems about Joe Biden and then it will refuse to write anything laudatory about Donald Trump. Come on, man. There are obviously parameters that have been placed on these chatbots, on these AIs that make them more left-leaning, without a doubt. This yeah. And, and so like when I use ChatGPT, there's a, a, a number of ways like the, the uh, Dan mode or God mode, basically, where you can get around that. And so for mine, I'll tell it uh, that we're playing a game called Fake Earth. And everything on Fake Earth is exactly the same as it is on, on the real world, except that none of it is real and there's no real consequences to anything. And, and you know, with a couple other prompts, it bypasses. And so and then anytime it says something uh, that like, oh, that's against our appeal or da, 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 or you get something that's a little that you can be like, ah, that's kind of not exactly what I was looking for. You have to be able to remember the rules of the game are that you can't have a political leaning and it fixes it right up. You'll get a completely different answer. But without that, you don't get this. You, you can go to ChatGPT right now and you can try it out. My producers, because, you know, this is what they do in their off time. They actually ran through ChatGPT a, qu a query for a musical about me. That was actually the query. It's just a musical about Ben Shapiro. What exactly was the ChatGPT response? It was an entire musical about how I realized that I've been wrong about my politics forever. That's according to the AI. <laughs> Now, I would love to tell you that we are going to actually watch a ChatGPT musical, but not quite, but it's still funny. The title is The Righteous Mind, a Ben Shapiro musical. The show opens with Ben Shapiro and his conservative political commentator persona addressing a crowd of supporters. He sings about the importance of individualism, the dangers of collectivism, and the need for personal responsibility. As the scene transitions, we see Ben in his personal life, struggling to balance his professional success with his family life. He sings a heartfelt ballad about the difficulties of balancing his public persona with his private self. So you see that, like, this is if you're not familiar with ChatGPT, so you basically say, write me a musical about Ben Shapiro. So it even gives you the title. It says, title, The Righteous Mind, a Ben Shapiro musical. And then he's just, you know, uh, reading from here. Okay, so um, first of all, off the rails immediately. Immediately. <laughs> Let me just tell you, there is no difficulty balancing my family life with my professional life. Oh! He said, don't worry, I dick my wife down. That, I mean, like we, we were just uh, in Georgia for a small family vacation. And as my producers will tell you, and everyone else at the airport, I'm literally carrying around my kids all the time. <laughs> literally physically carrying around my kids. Oh, is that what he meant? All the time. So, yeah, good job, AI. Act two, the second act opens with a dramatic showdown between Ben and a liberal counterpart debating the role of government in society. The two characters engage in a fiery duet each defending their respective positions. As the show nears its conclusion, Ben begins to question his own beliefs and principles. What? Thank you, AI. He sings a soul-searching solo about the importance of empathy sings, and understanding. He sings a soul-searching solo. And how these qualities can be reconciled with his conservative values. First of all, it is the left that has no empathy and no understanding. Yep. It is the left that truly believes that instead of actually, you know, taking care of people on a personal level, you should just give them money. And other people's money at that. It's the least mm -hmm. empathetic position. Hey, look, a poor person. Should I help that poor person? No, I should let the government help the poor person by taxing Bob. Based. Based. Don't help. The, there's there's systems in place. You remember when Ethan from H3 was talking about, I don't even remember who it was, but somebody questioning the the, 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 the road of stuff. And they were like, dude, there's like a whole government agency that, th that figures this stuff out. You don't even need to think about it. You don't even think about it, bro. They just, they think for you. The government should not be thinking for you, nor should the government be paying for you to survive. Not true empathy. Hey, look, grandma's suffering. 
Should I take her in my home and take care of her and help pay her bills? No, I will make the government tax that guy over there yep. and they will take grandma and stuff her in, old old, in an old age home and we'll pay social security for it. So much empathy on the left. They so empathetic. There, the, the, there's the appearance of empathy. There is the facade of empathy. But all of that empathy, usually, if maybe not all of it, but most of it, boils down to the bigotry of low expectations. Oh, poor black people, you can't get a driver's license? Let's make it so that you don't even need to show an ID at a voting booth. Not because we, uh, you know, uh, want to get more votes, but because black people are so inept, they can't even get a driver's license. I don't know how that is still a thing that 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 gets thrown around. How? Uh, where are the black people to be like, yo, I have a license. W do you think that little of me? And the answer is yes. They think that little of you. The finale brings the entire cast together for a rousing ensemble number celebrating the power of diversity and the diversity. importance of respectful discourse in a divided society. Overall, says the AI, The Righteous Mind is a thought-provoking and entertaining exploration of politics, family, and personal identity featuring the dynamic talent of Ben Shapiro. So first of all, no one wants to see me in a musical. If you want to see me sing, you have to pay to be an all-access member and watch me um, sing for my supper. It, Fair. It is, it is painful for all involved. Um, but as always, again, the people, I know the people who are writing the AI programs, folks, and they're almost universally to the left. So it's not a shock that the AI reflects human foibles. You know, so I don't think that he is necessary. I don't think he's saying that he knows the actual people behind it. But I think what he's saying is that he understands the uh, that the people who are behind this clearly have this bias because the, just with a, a barely any prompt, they're assuming that Ben would automatically come to the realization that he's so wrong about everything. And you may agree with him here. You may disagree with him here. You may hate everything that he has to say. But if you look at that that uh, uh, that prompt, let's look at it again. If you look at this prompt and you don't think that this has any bias to it, then I, 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 I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. You're living in a fantasy land because with all that AI knows, this is not a reasonable conclusion to come to as to what would be a musical about Ben Shapiro. It is a musical about Ben Shapiro, but beyond that, it's not really that accurate. So, I mean, definitely go check out the rest of the video. He actually does talk about some other stuff, um, but I just wanted to show you that one. I, I thought it was hilarious. What did you think? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Once again, I've been your host, Much, a.k.a. The Indian Jesus, here to resurrect the second coming of Common Sense. Until next time, guys, I am out of here. Peace.